Okay, here's how you make an 8x10 beveled mat for this uh, little postcard that I have. You can, uh, first thing you want to do is you want to decide what size, and we're going to do an 8x10. The picture is actually a 6 inch by 3.8 inch little postcard. And we're going to do an 8x10 mat so we can just drop it in an 8x10 frame and it looks like it's matted. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new uh, file, and we're going to call it mat file, and it's going to be 10 inches long by 8 inches high. It's going to be 300 dpi, and it's going to be transparent. Do OK. Okay, there's our bike race postcard, and there's our potential mat. So the first thing we want to do is go back over here to our mat. We want to have more than one layer. We want another layer on top of this. So um, you can use the new layer button down here at the bottom of the layer stack, and now we have a layer two. If we go back to layer one, we want to go back to our picture. We want to use the marquee selection tool and highlight the entire picture. We want to edit and copy or control C, whichever one you want to use. And then when we go back to our map file and do control V which will paste it right in, or you could go easily go up to the edit and paste, which will do the same thing. So now if you look over here in our layer stack, we have a layers uh, of layer one, which is the picture. If I turn it off, the picture goes away. We have a layer two, which is going to be our mat. So the first thing we want to, not, to do here is <coughs> we want to have a color for our mat, and if you notice, the mat is now transparent. There's no color to it. So we really want to just c color around the outside of this picture. And the best way to do that, for me anyway, is I, I have selected my layer that has the picture on it, selected the magic wand tool, and I have, uh, I'm going to uh, select this outside area around the picture. Then I'm going to go back to the blank layer, layer 2, the one without the picture. I'll turn off this layer so you can see what happens here. If you, if you notice the where the picture was, there's the picture, it, there's an empty spot and there around where the picture was is the selection. Let me use the paint bucket tool and this could be any color you want. You could select a color off the picture so that it would complement the picture but right now I'm going to do black because it's just easy. And I'm going to fill this area with black. Now if I turn the picture back on, you notice there's the picture right in the middle of all of it. So now what I want is to be able to put a bevel on this mat. The best way to do that is, first let's take this selection off, and you want an e uh, equal bevel around all of it. So you really need to zoom in on a one corner of it first. And if you don't have your rulers on, make sure that uh, view and up here, view and rulers are turned on. Our control all R will will turn on your rulers. And you grab a guide to do, to grab a guide. You go over here to the rule where the ruler is on the edge of your screen, and you click, you left click, and pull over a guide and I put it right on the inside edge and I bring another guide and pull it on put it on the top edge. Now I want to put a bevel probably about 
an eighth of an inch deep. And that's usually what a mat board is. It's an eighth of an inch. So right there, if you bring pull this guide over, right there is an eighth of an inch. If you look up here at the top, and what you want to do is you want to do that for all of all the way around this opening because we're going to select that area uh, that's not I want to go from the top I'm going to select that area that's right there so we got one two three four it's about an eighth Put that guide down there like that. And we do this all the way around. Put one on the inside and then move. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's zoom in here. Okay, we're back. And put a guide here. Uh, A guide there and then go an eighth of an inch out. So now if, we, if you look at it, we've got a guide, an eighth of an inch border here. Now the best way to do this, you get your marquee tool and you go on the outside guide and select it. And then what you really want to do is use the magic wand tool, go inside that, press the Alt key, and if you'll notice when you do the Alt key, the little selector cursor changes from a plus to a minus. And you get inside and you click once, and it selects, it subtracts the inside out. So now if you look, you've got a perfect eighth of an inch selection around where the picture is. That's going to be our bevel. If you, then what you really want to do is change the, the black color to a light gray. So you click on that, that and you go over to your color picker and you select gray. I just selected at random a gray. Then I take my brush and you just paint that area like that. Now that's still kind of flat. So what I normally do is I zoom in again, like right here, and I take the lasso tool and I want to subtract the sides of the bevel from the tops of the bevel. So I, I do the lasso tool and I hold down the alt key which changes it to a minus which is going to deselect what I pick and I pull a 45 degree angle in the corner and then I just and it doesn't you don't have to be precise with this because it's empty out here. Now you do that, you do another 45 and you go back up. And when it's ready, see? Now you've got this part up here that's uh, still selected and it subtracted the side. So I want to do the same thing on the other side here. So try this again. I'm going to get rid of the side. Now if we now if you'll notice now I've just got the two the top 
selected of the bevel and the bottom of the bevel selected. Now we want to make that lighter. So we do a control L and the levels will come up. This middle slider, if you slide it to the right, it gets darker. If you slide it to the left, it gets lighter. We want to lighten up that top part so that it gives the, a little depth to the bevel. Let's just try that. And then you deselect everything. We can get rid of the guides. View, under view, clear guides. If you'll notice now we have a nice little map bevel around the picture. I can turn the picture back on and you can kind of see. But they are not through yet. What I like to do is put a little shadow around the edge of the bevel so that it gives it even more depth. So I go to the to the layer two for the where the mat is and select blending options. And what'll come up is uh, a layer style and I go to drop shadow and I use a 90 degree uh, angle and then I just take the size down here and that's the only slider I use and I just give it about 24 or 20 about maybe 30 and now you have a nice beveled mat for your picture.